Hi everyone, my name is Gary Yao and today I would like to give you a little update on what is happening up in the well, real estate here in California. Picture this, you are taking a road trip here in California and you pack up all your stuff in your SUVs, you put all your luggage and you decide to explore the Golden State. After traveling for 70 plus miles an hour for hours without taking a break, you decide to, well, it's time to get off in the next exit fill up and stretch your legs. Say that upon exiting the freeway, driving up to the next gas station to a most reduced speed, it feels as if the car is barely moving. Of course, it is still progressing down the road, but everyone has become accustomed to a much faster speed after, well, traveling for 70 miles for hours. That is precisely how it felt to participate in the housing market in 2022. The market has been zooming through the past couple of years in an insanely swift, unprecedented space. And it has as if uh, the gas pedal, it feel as th th this pedal was permanently fastened to the floorboard. There have been few homes available for purchase, demand has through the roof complements of historically low mortgage rates and of course a lot of money from the Fed. Homes will last only days on the market. Swarms of buyers tour every home. Each offer to purchase competed against a slew of additional purchase uh, offers. Sales price soared above the asking price easily and home values uh, skyrocketed higher. But with high mortgage rates, the market has slowed considerably. And this summer, it feels as if the housing is barely moving. Yet, it will still be a seller's market. It is not what everyone has become accustomed to though. With higher than expected consumer price index, CPI, reports that just came a couple weeks ago, according to the mortgage news mortgage in June 9, interest rate was 5.5%. And in June 13, it actually jumped to 6.15%. An enormous, enormous and extraordinary jump. They were at 3.25% at the beginning of this year and escalated three points since then. The higher rates have already had an enormous impact in the housing so far this year, and the recent rise will only further slow the market. Rates are rising in anticipation of everything that the Federal Reserve would need to do in order to tamp down the stubborn inflation. High rates dampen demand. Homes take longer to sell, and market times grow longer. Today, demand is mute compared to the last year down 30%. And the last three years, the average, well, prior COVID between 2017 to 2019, it has gone down 17%. Fewer buyers qualify to purchase at today's rates, and there are not as many buyers bumping into each other. As a result, the inventory has more than doubled so far in 2022, growing from, let's say, inventory. The inventory grew from 2011 homes to 4,107. So it actually grew from, yeah, 2011 homes to 4,007 in today's, uh, well, the today's market. The expected time in market has been going uh, higher. So it, when, uh, it used to take 28 days to sell a property, it, it takes 64 days a slight sales market. In order for this market to be a sales market, it will need for houses to sell within 60 and 90 days days. It is no longer that insane, hot sales market for the first time since May 2020. Many homeowners are not finding success. Incredibly, 48% of all current active listings have been exposed to a market for at least one month, before it would take only a few weeks. Sitting on the market for over 30 days is to be expected in the luxury range, yet 
there are plenty of sellers having trouble selling it for a lower range as well. If you find that the for sale signs are popping up more in the market, it means that it is taking longer for them to sell. Not as many sellers have been on the market for more than two months, only 21%. Now, in today's market, on top of the rising rate, the distractions of summer will impact the housing market as well. The busiest time of the year in terms of demand is the spring market. It's now in the rear mirror with the conclusion of the school year and graduation. Summer is when active buyers are pulled away from the exhausting pace of housing. Kids are home and parents are busy carpooling the camps, water parks, pool, beaches, and friend houses. Thus, demand has decreased slightly and there are fewer new escrows open. With demand dropping, the supply of available homes rise as more homeowners place their homes in the market. Many of them mistake the summer market as the best time of the year to sell a home. In terms of new escrow activity, it is second to the spring market. With increasing supply of fall and falling demand, the expected market time increases. Combined with a slightly lower summer market with the current rising mortgage rate inventory, uh, well, not even the uh, environment, the demand will continue to slowly cool down for the next uh, several months. The inventory will rise on the backs of homes that are overpriced, in poor condition, or have an inferior location. Careful arriving at the price is crucial for sellers to secure a successful outcome. Homes that are priced according to the fair market value will generate uh, better offers to purchase. Homeowners who stretch their asking price will waste valuable market time and will need to reduce as well. Now, attention to, attention to you sellers. Sharpen your pencils, scrutinize all comparable data, and price your home so that it will sell. Do not learn the hard way that the market is not the same as the frenzied market of the past two years. Now, let's give attention to buyers. There are finally more choices. But if a home is priced well, it will not last. Do not mistake in a slower market as a buyer's market. It is still a seller's market. Buyers are looking to negotiate. They should consider homes that have been in the market for a while and are having trouble securing a buyer willing to make an offer to purchase. The, the, the current active listing in inventory has rocketed by 9%. So inventory oh, has gone up 9%. New demand has allowed active inventory to climb rapidly since the start of April, adding 1,019 homes, nearly doubling just a couple months. Open house directional arrows are now adorned busy intersections, and it is common to see uh, the same open house for multiple weekends in a row. That was unheard of a couple months ago, and it's important to know that today's inventory level is still incredible muted compared to average prior to COVID. The three-year average from 1917 to 19, oh, 1917, 2017 to 2019 is, 2017 to 2019, the average inventory was 5,313 homes. And it, in other words, it's 29% higher. There were more inventory before than it is now. Yet, the difference is rapidly diminishing. As demand continues to drop, overpriced homes will accumulate on the market and the inventory will materially grow with the reaches a delayed peak sometime between October and Thanksgiving, making its way back to pre-pandemic level. The new trend that developed this year is that a sharp decrease in the number of homes is coming into the market. The demand plunged by 7% in the past couple of weeks. Demand is a snapshot where the number of escrows over the prior month decreased from 2,052 uh, to 1,914 uh, 1, for the past couple of weeks, which means that in this lack of demand, we're slowly seeing that, uh, well, again, it will take longer to sell. Rising rates have dramatically impacted demand for the recent rise for over 6%, with 
will only further dampen the number of qualified buyers. Let me give you an example. If you are putting a 10% down payment and you want to have a $2,000 mortgage, you're looking for a $2,000 mortgage, then you're looking for a home that is worth about $511,000. Right? $511,000. That is at the start of the year when it was at 3.25% rate. Okay? That same number in today at 6%, at a 6% rate, if you were looking to have a $2,000 mortgage payment, today you'll be looking at a home worth $371,000. That is a drop of $140,000. Let's use a red market. That is a rate of $140,000. Negative. Negative. That changed the outcome and changed the outlook when you're looking for a house. Qualified homes is more challenging at today's higher rate, thus the drop in demand. Expect more demand to drop slowly to the summer months. And this will metallically continue of during the autumn market. In conclusion, this shift in housing due to higher rates has already made a significant impact on the housing market and it will slow down further over the summer. This doesn't mean, however, that the prices are going down. It only means that it will take longer to sell a house. Only buy if it makes sense. Don't try to time the market and always consult with a professional. My name is Gary Yao and I will talk to you soon.